तस्मै श्री गुरवे नम वंशाकूप कृपा सिंधु भय वच पतिता पावनिभो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम वंशाकृपा सिंधु भय वच पतिवनिभो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नमो महाबदनाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाने गौरतिषे नम कनकजलद गात्र नीलसनाजनेत्र मृग मदबर भाल मलती कुंदमाल तरल तरुण वेश नील पीतांबरेश स्मरणितुंगे राधिका कृष्ण चंद्र हा देवी काकूभरगदयाचा भूमि दंडवतुर्भटाद्रसादेहिमलिमच्छताविरवित मंदीकृतेदन जागुडरोति संविधत पट्टर सृंदारण्य निवासी हृदयथद्रमादर राधास्कंद निवेशुज दामोदर भक्ता विनाय पदाधलक्षतरंग मध्य कृपाए शरण प्रपन्ना बृंदे नुमस्ते चरणारविंद बृंदे नुमस्ते चरणारविंद श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर शिव कवि गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई पे माय हम्बल ऑबिशियंसेस लोटस फिट ऑफ माय परमानंद गुरु पाद पद्म ओम विष्णु पाद परिचय का चार जगत जय अस्तोत सतस मधुर की वदन कृष्ण भवन में सही महाराज and send to my shiksha guru pad padma om vishnu pad parida jagatar jagarya hasto tasma simar bhakti vedanta sranayana sai maharaj tell that he may be senses to our param guru dev nitrila krishna vishnu pad sri bhakti tagan ke sarva sai maharaj and nitrila krishna vishnu pad sri bhakti tagan sai maharaj and all guru parampara may he may be sense to all vishnavas and vishnavis वो सेम्बल ही आर पेन का एक मिनट स्पीच समझने का था। 21st of February, a new moon day, afternoon leaves that place, this place. So many speakers, speakers spoke so nice thing about Guru Dev. So I think it's better for me to speak something as I am with him from since 79. So it's better for me to glorify him something little bit. After that, if you like, then I shall continue. Otherwise, I shall add up any other subject matter. Which I have heard from Guru Dev before different times. I am trying to memorize that thing. You know about Jagadananda Pandit. He was Mahaprabhu Eternal Servant. He wrote one book named Prem Vivarta. When we have disappeared from this world, or before also, he used to do mantra time to time. 
when Mahaprabhu disappeared from this world, then he feels in so much separation. Then he thinks, I must write something about Mahaprabhu. When he used to take pain, then tears coming down. He could not write it there. Again he tried, again failure. Then he told, no, I must write something, that the that whole world will know about Mahaprabhu something. He wrote, Man kande, pran kande, kande duti akhi, jakhan jaha mane pade, takhan taha likhi. The general rule in a book, there is some sequence, some link. Jagavan Pandit is telling here, when I remember Mahaprabhu, my mind began to eat. Moreover, my soul began to eat. Okay, none can see the mind and soul, the weeping or not. But okay, no problem, none can see. But I could not take my tears, my eyes were on to eat. So, I could not maintain a sequence and a rule. What memorize or remembrance come in my mind, I am putting the writing down. So, the reader, they will take the essence of my writing. In the same way, I am from, I still 79, so what I remember, I have no sequence. <laughs> so what I remember, I shall tell, say if any mistake or defect, you will excuse me. So just like, the Lila Katha of Bhagavan is very pure, in the same way, very pure, the Lila Katha, you know, characteristic or pastimes of his own devotee, kith and kin. So Bhagavan pastime is very helpful for us, but his realized soul is near and dear. To hear about him, then you know, will get more inspiration. So, I am giving you a offering, Lotus Feet of Guru Dev. So many devotees have spoke, some devotee has wrote some nice poem, so many articles, but I have, my pain is not so strong to write anything. So I shall write my little bit, which I remember. Just like when Marjada Pushtam Lord Ramchandra came in card in Ajodha, why? Because he is eternal abode of Lord Ramchandra. When Lord Krishna came, Lila Pusatam Bhagavan Krishna Chandra Vajanandam Samsandha incarnate in Vajadham. And when Mahaprabhu incarnate in this world, he incarnate in Avadhiv. It never will change. This is the eternal abode. So they will, whenever they will come, they incarnate in the same place. <coughs> but devotee, Bhagavan give his birth, devotee of his, birth of his devotee here and there. Who I? By his touch, by his presence, the land will be purified. Just like Bihar has to the two birth, this Pandava boy give death. Means, even Panchayi Pandava, being the exile, they travel all over India. Not only that, they travel all over the world. Even they came to Australia, this is the to keep the place of weapons of Australia. Port named due to Arjun, it became port. He can see all over the world, more Rudra you can find in Australia. Why? Because Vivati Arjun and Lord Shiva they fight together in that place. So you can see in Australia so many Rudraksha more than other place all over the world. So, and Bhima, he married a Nagkarna and Naglo. So all these Western countries lower planetary system. So Gurudev took birth in Bihar, even Pandava was not going there. So it's called Pandava Varji Dev, means in your place. But why Bhagavan sent his devotee there? To make that land pure. I took birth in Bihar, fire near Ahallavali or Siddhasram. 
I shall later explain what is Siddha Varhalavali and Siddha Akshan. His father's name was Pandit Balestar Nath Tiwari and mother's name was Lakshmi Devi. In his childhood, Buddha was so simple. They are used to it. His mother put one place, if they are not moved, nothing, no weeping. Even grow up, if I sit here, will be sit there, no will go anywhere. So seeing his tendency, their very simple nature, very calm and quiet, his grandmother kept his name Bholanath. Bholanath means like one name of Lord Shiva. So then it, what you can make she was happy very easily. Same way, his family also, this boy is very gentle, though small, not breaking any fault, not throwing anything here and there, <laughs> not angry. His mother put sit here, he will be here, but no weeping, even hungry, no weeping, nothing. When he later grow up, then his grandfather, uncle of his father, no, what is the following of name? Not good name. Then they called his name, they kept his name, Simon Narayan. And when Guru took initiation, then Param Guru kept his name, Sigur Narayan. From Simon Narayan to Gaur Narayan. In Sannas order, then Bhakti Vedanta Narayan. So same name from the beginning. So Guru told, he used to go to his father every year has Srimad Bhagavatam or Ramayan or Mahabharat lecture is going on. He used to go with his father. He determined to go with his father from his childhood. None can stop. No, I must go with father. And his residence was near Ganges. So maybe if the influence of Ganges Pest come in this line. Good of duty, humility is telling, is near and dear of Mahaprabhu and divine couple. But it is a fact also. For leaving bank of Ganges, they always be spiritual minded. And who live in between Ganges and Jamuna, that area called Doha, that Area people always say very religious minded. So Guru was telling, maybe due to intense of Ganges, I became spiritual minded and taste came in line. But all of his family members, all his villagers, religious minded, not only him, but him. So what may be Guru told like this, maybe in terms of Ganges. Only okay, very good. <laughs> <laughs> And his father was very expert in wrestling and singing, and his mother was born poet, with his mother, was born poet. If any program, they always invite Guru his mother, he'll go, according to subject matter, she'll make poem and sing, and very sweet voice, more sweeter voice than Guru Dev, his mother. <laughs> So like mother, like son. <laughs> and from his childhood, when he became little girl, he studied Ramayana. Now all over India, especially in village area, they read Ramayana, Mahabharata, Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, everywhere in the village area. Guru used to read Ramayana. He was fond of Ramayana in the beginning. Especially when Lord Ram sent Chitali for exile forever. The Maharaj Dasaradhan Koikei sent Lord Ramchandra, Lakshman, along Sita for exile. When Chitali went into Patal, some different, different first times, reading that, Buddha began to read hours and hours. Then he turned over his book. After some time, he will open his book again, again cry. By this way, 
he spent his childhood only reading Ramayana. One day, he saw Hanuman in dream so many times. One day, he told that he was sleeping. He saw all of, in his dream all of a sudden the whole room became very glittering, like more than sun shining, but not hitting your sun eyes. Cool like more than cool, moon. And he opened his eyes, he saw Lord Ramchandra, Sita Devi Lakshman Hanuman. Then Gurudev got up from his dear one to talk to Lord Ramchandra's feet. Then they disappeared. Then he began to eat. So after that, later on he came in line of Mahaprabhu. Now, question may arise, if he was devotee of Lord Ram because his father and mother, their all ancestors, they were Ramanujiya Vaishnav, Sri Sampradaya Vaishnav, but how Gurudev came in this line? Because he is eternal associates of Mahaprabhu and divine couple. And at that time he not got enough association of this line, so he was there like Gopal Bhatta Goswami, Trimala Bhatta, Venkat Bhatta, Prabhupada Saraswati. They also high class Ramanujiya Vaishnav. When they came in contact of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then they came in line of Mahaprabhu and Divine Kapil, in the same way for Atvai for Gurudev also. Now I am narrating you what is Siddhasram and what is Ahalavali, very close by in Gurudev's birthplace. Even nowadays, due to flood of Ganges, sometimes Ganges towards some area, some area not. Sometimes they are cutting the land. Now they have also when they just cut the land in deep, you can see that half burned barley, clay pot, so many things of fire sacrifice still found there. Now it is even. So Siddhasam means the hermitage place of this Samitra sea. Vishwamitra Rishi, he was very famous all over India. Once he came to love, uh, Empire Dasarath and told Maharaj Dasarath, I want donation something from you. Dasarath became very happy. When he came, according to Vedic tradition, either Buddha will come or an exalted Buddha will come. He had to give them seats and Hidwat, garland, arati, everything they did according to the Vedic tradition. Then the Sadhu Maharaj asked, Oh Maharaj, how I can serve you? Which some of this he told, Empire of the Sadhus, I came to visit you, I want some donation, I beg you need that donation. The said, Yes, Maharaj, whatever you like, I shall give anything you what you desire. I am not ready to give up my life for you. Then Vishnandra told, don't worry, you have not to give up your life. I am not asking your life. No, no, Maharaj, which you like, desire you ask me immediately. Then Vishnandra told, okay, please take the vow and take Achaman that you must give, must give, must give. Yes, you do so. Then Vishnandra told, I am doing fire sacrifice. All demons are making so many nonsense things. They not allow us to fulfill our fire sacrifice. Whenever they are doing, they are putting beef and alcohol in the Jogga Kunda. I can finish them, but if I will be angry and finish them, it is not relevant for my austerity, for my fire sacrifice. So I need the what? I can go with you with all weapons or no? I don't like you. All your, all your army. And what do you want? I need a Ram and Lakshman. But he began to tremble. Without Ram, how I can survive my life? He's thinking. The king you have promised. So if you break promise, then you will be bad then for you. Because Dasar Maharaj came in Rahu dynasty. 
फॉर गुड गुरु and priest of the sarad maharaj basitari se kai mai tol maharaj the sarad gaun kariya tol pichhi prami is pichhi prami sadar hoy your poor father will be angry with you they will not best to mark any mort on upon you and your dynasty moreover bisamitra this is not an ordinary person He is taking Lord Ram, your son Ram and Lakshman. He will give teach them so many things, so many answers. Even you don't know. So if you not tell them how they can learn, so let them go. It is very auspicious if they will go. Auspicious for them, for you, and for whole dynasty. Advice of Bhushan Sharishi, the Sadhu Maharaj allowed to go them back to Pingli, not. <laughs> so at that time, the demonic king was Ravan. Just like the time of Prahlad Maharaj, demonic empire was Hiranyakashipu. For him, Prahlad Maharaj told, "Tat sadhu manni asrobal je dehi nam." You are the biggest demon. And he said, "Oh, my son is glorifying me. That I am the biggest thing. He is getting fucked up." In same way, Ravan also has so many boons like Ram Nagasipu. So he also very fucked up. Wherever he will go, he will steal so many girls, women, even marriages going on from there. He will snatch and keep in his kingdom to enjoy them. So. Ram and Lakshman is coming. On the way, the Sarad Vishamitra is he taught so many very secret archery things. Nowadays, in America and others, they discover so many weapons. One they tried in Hiroshima and Nagasaki atom bomb, the nitrogen bomb, hydrogen, so many things they discovered. And for this, they are expending a lot of money. And they have so many aeroplanes for fighting. If you go Arizona, Tucson, you can see so many, which they used before, because maintenance is very low there, so they kept all their fighter jets Arizona. Okay. So, but for Indian army jets, for Indian sets, they don't have to buy. They get perfection in mantra. And the Rambar mantra, which will come in your hand, and when you finish, they will disappear. So, this time they taught so many things to Lord Ram and Lakshman. When they came close by, there is a very big forest. We are told Ram very careful. Now we entering the place of demon witch, the Ram told Prabhu. Don't worry at all. How do you order me? I shall carry out your order. So now when they enter, very big witch like Putana, named Taruka, came to kill the Ram and Lakshman. If Abu is a tree, like any small boy taking up one leaf from any tree or from the grass, easily, and try to reach. Ram and Lakshman. We said all this is Taruka, so you can kill. So we sent a little away, and Lord Ram and Lakshman, they are fighting against which Taruka. However, he is throwing big, big rock. 
and mountain, big big tree, the drum only way, one arrow smashing and then going hitting to hit hard. That mountain is coming, big big rock, he took arrow, then that rock going back and hitting hard. <laughs> the tree also. What happened? I killed so many person in a second, but today I could not do any harm for this small boy, only teenager boy. How come? And everything which I am saying to him is coming back hitting me. So still it is fighting. Then he said, Lord Ram, don't play more. <laughs> so Lord Ram wanted to catch some heroic mood, so he was but well, don't test more, don't play more, then he finished him. As soon as he finished him, he moved, he was size and expert. After that, so many demons, they live in that area. Then he, they move a little bit more, then we said, oh, yeah, fire is going on. So he will do fire sacrifice. Demon will come through here, and the dust is put in our Jagga Kunda, so many bone, beef, and then stool, urine, alcohol, and things the Jagga. And they kill so many human beings and Brahmins, so many thousands and thousands. And then this time is all, now they are coming towards Jagga Kunda. Any moment they can come make harm. Lord Ram said, okay, don't worry. Then he remembered one mantra, arrow came on his hand. He shoot the arrow, then it covered the whole area, like a chakra, like a disc, and it's moving. The explosion chakra, very huge is moving. In the meantime, they came to know that Aruka finished. So many demons came, especially Marich and Subahu. They came and want to destroy the fire sacrifice. If they finish the fire sacrifice, then you will be more powerful and demon will be less powerful. So they came and want to finish the fire sacrifice. They are making urine, throwing stool, so many bones, alcohol, nothing coming down. Because as before Ramjana did that. How come? It was still going on. Just like in the past times of Hirakusatam Krishna Chandra, when Nanda Baba, due to proposed by Bajananda and Samsundar, he and all Bajavasi stopped the fire sacrifice and other puja of Indra Dev. They became very angry and he stopped rain for seven days. After seven days it was nothing happened, even one not a leaf drop from a tree. It was surprised. In the same way, here the demons become surprised. Okay, she put it go direct to the Jagdakunda. What happened? They bring in more and more, but nothing happened. And they had, all their things disappeared. Then we are told again. Prabhu, don't play more. <laughs> because they'll come more. I'm not no worry. It's a little bit more with them. After that, Lord Ram killed Subahu. And he shoot one arrow to Marich. And Marich from Bihar. He throw the Marich into the midst of ocean near Sri Lanka. And Marich became very restless and it was very painful for him. He remembered from the time how Ramchandra's arrow is so painful and so sharp. When Ravan wanted to steal Sita, I told Marich, Oh Marich, you have to help me. I want to steal Sita from Ram. My son, Oh my dear master, I am helpless. I am not able to associate with you in this nonsense thing. So why not? If you not go with me, I shall kill you. 
Then he told the whole, he told narrators before also, he narrated again. If I go, Ram will kill me. Ravan told, he will be a, like golden deer. When Ram Chandra will take him, the Sita will ask him to get that deer, golden deer. When Lord Ram will chase you, you take Ram very far away. After that, you imitate the Ram's voice and tell, My dear brother Lakshman, help me, help me, I am in danger, helpless. Then Lakshman goes and I shall steal. I know it is very hard task for him. Well, if you know, then I shall kill you and you hold dynasty. My thought, why I shall spoil my life, my hand of a demon? If I kill by Lord Ram, then I can get the destination. So he took this chance. I have to die one day. Today, tomorrow, I mean, hundred years later, I must die. I prefer to die better by Lord Ram's hand. So he took this chance. That same marriage uh, to whom Ramchandra should have been trying to meet the ocean. There is a place of Siddhasam, means a perfection place of this Sanitarisi. Guru the birthplace, very close, within two miles. Very close. Another place called Ahalla Bolli. Ahalla Bolli. Allah means, you know Saptar Simandal, star constellation, seven stars. Among them one is name of Gautam Rishi. Gautam. So Gautam Rishi was very powerful saint in Saptar Yuga. Once, all of all became drought. No one is there to feed the whole world. And Gautam Rishi invited all sages, please be in my ashram. I shall feed you all, don't worry. So they came and Gautam Rishi feed them all. When they then came again, everything became nice. Still Gautam Rishi asked them to be with them, with him. But Brahmanas, they don't like to stay anymore, so they made a trick. I don't want to go in details. So many nice story there. So, but it takes two, three minutes, I never, then you can understand. So one day, the Brahmins made a trick. They arrange one dead cow and make the cow stand, the dead cow, on the way where, in which a Gautam used to go to take bath. They put on the roadside the narrow path at night. When Gautam is going for taking bath, a little dark, touched with Gautam's body, come, come down from that place. What happened then? All this is came. Oh, Gautam, he killed cow, killed cow. So, this very great thing. Who should not stay him with anymore? He is killing cow. Don't <coughs> meditate. Then he saw, oh, they made a trick. And they put this last night to defend me. And I said, okay, you are defending me. Took some water and, and some mantra and threw it. From today, the power of your mantra will go away. It, nonsense, I mean, I am noticing you for so many years and now you are going to defend me. Doing this nonsense thing. From that time, the power of mantra but who is pure and bad, then for them no problem. The same Gautam is doing so severe austerity. Lord in the thought, oh, maybe he is doing austerity to take my position heavenly planet. But Gautam is nothing to do with heavenly planet. So that somehow or other I have to make him angry. Then the power of austerity will be reduced. So he asked Moon to help him and rooster. He told Moon, oh Moon, he had to come slide down in midnight, like in Brahma Murta. The Buddha, he thought that in Brahma, I take bath. 
and he told Rooster that he had to talk midnight, he had to crow midnight, that everyone thinks that he is now Brahma Murta. It happened so? How come? Night became so quick today. But Moon is very soul, Moon is coming down, the rooster is crowing, so oh, now Brahma, then we to take bath. In the meantime, Indra in disguise of Gautam Vishi entered Gautam Vishi Ashram to break the chastity of Gautam wife, Ahalla Devi. And he asked Moon to have a guard in the doorway. Moon did so. When Gautam Vishi went in the bank of the river, there is to take bath. So, so many frogs will come down and he to pick them up for his party. No flower has come down. He has so many signs, there is not Brahma Murta here. Then he meditated. Oh, this six, this conspiracy done by Indra. Oh, he is entering my room enjoying my wife. He came back immediately, became angry. When he came, he saw the moon is standing in the doorway. He had there seen big moon and moon ran away from there. <laughs> when he entered his ashram, he was the Dorepo ashram. When he entered, then he saw that in the in disguise of Gautam Dishi, he is coming out. <laughs> then called Indra, being the king of heavenly planet, he was so up. He want to destroy my chastity of my wife, just wife. What do you think? No one no one is to control you. I shall show you today. Then you could not be anywhere else, neither in mortal world nor in heavenly planet. You have too much attached to the vagina. Okay, the whole body, body will be top to bottom vagina, the whole body. It happened. In the big arms, you can look at me. Then his heart became mad. Okay, what were you? I told it to be, but. Well, by this way, how I can go to heavenly planet? How I can show my face to others? <laughs> so why is a nonsense thing? Okay, now your whole body is transferred to like eyes. Not eyes, like eyes. Eyes mark will be there. So Indra's so one name is Sahasra Lochan. Sahasra Lochan. Sahasra means thousand. Like whole body, like thousand eyes. So, and he came to Allah, his baby, how? Oh. You don't know that another person is coming to you? Why not check? You understand that I am not? Oh, you are like inert. Okay, you will be like a stone. And see, he can see. He understood, you are feeling that his body is going to be inert. And he began to even catch hold, go to his feet. Oh, Prabhu. Please excuse me. It is against my desire by force to take my chastity. Then Gautam says, hardly came in. Okay. Lord Ram will appear in Teta Yuga. By the touch of his daughter's feet, he will be again a Haladini and he will come to me. Then I will say, Oh, Prabhu. Now this is Satya Yuga. After that, Dapa will come. Then Teta, I have to suffer for so long, I have to detach from you, how I can tolerate your separation? Then you go please, give some concession for me. Okay, from now, from sat- after Satyaju, Dapa will not come, Teta will come. So from that, sat- after Satya, Teta is coming. So, after killing Taruka, Vishamitra is taking my Ram and Lakshman going towards Mithila because Mithila knowledge, Janak Maharaj invites him, says going there. So, Lord Ramdha saw one very new, nice ashram, but no bird, no animal, even deer, rabbit, nothing there. Ramchandra told, Oh Prabhu, what is the cause? No one is here. 
a lot of like look like very nice and then here something is here maybe some sort of twist at this stone well, why will it touch first then I can tell you a lot of options will touch the rock and very nice that it came out did pronounce a lot of the gene voice command see it disappeared we need to go from this one. then we start to narrate the whole story that place called Ahalla Boli is very close by to Gurudev Purvastam within two miles Gurudev was very expert in sports at that time he was Bihar sports champion <laughs> run, cycling, boating, football very expert at the time there is no cricket in Bihar so none can compare with him in sports, he was so expert from the beginning his body was never so heavy so you can run very fast and whenever any 5 mils run 2 miles etc that when the other computer will come and if they saw his name is the Narasimhan Narayan Tiwari there that we better know him better they can go other events complete his thing and even though they used to Walk so fast. When I joined 79, <laughs> I could not walk the mud, can't drive to run with him to catch him. Then Guru used to tell that when he is young age, even Diksha Wala could not complete <laughs> running Diksha. He was so fast in running by walking only. So, when he was in school, he was, he used to hate English language because at that time India was ruled by British. Why is I learn their language? I don't like. And his head teacher is to teach English. Whenever head teacher will come, don't go to the first boy, he will sleep. He not desire to learn and listen anything about English. So, When he used to go to school, like in different, different area of the world, different, different foodstuff, like in Bengal and Odisha, they put fond of rice and dal. In Bihar, they are like fond of Bihar, UP, chapati. And in Mexico, they like too much corn <laughs> and cactus. <laughs> And they make chapati also make of corn flour. Oh, yes, yeah, When I went to Mexico, tortilla. yes, tortilla. <laughs> they even serve us cactus, sabji and cactus. <laughs> <laughs> and no sabji and they arrived there. Only cactus, color cactus. What is this? People are saying. After that, I cook cactus also far better than them. <laughs> When our devotee could understand his cactus, they tell me. Uh, you know, hold the recipe, how it looks so nice. You never know, being born from here, so many generations. So, but Guru Dev is to fond of rice. Though their main full stop was chapati and dal. So, Guru Dev was the eldest son in their family. If there is no rice, Guru is to weep. <laughs> no, I need rice. A single is eating his mother bound to cook rice, even if whole family member want or not. But his family bound to. Well, maybe in my previous birth I was in Bengal. So that impression was in me, so I used to take rice from my childhood. When my knowledge I know I must take rice every day. So when he was in school, after that in high school, I teach primary school, reading and teaching same time. 
and one day there's an interview for policeman selection because later on he became police officer first he joined in police so interview was going on they have a big ground that is had to go one distance had to come back again he was very clever because he is very fast in running who the thought very long and there are few hundred there so better i should not run so fast in beginning let them run this walking like run is walking like that and they went and coming back when they are on the way back around the midway you will turn back not <laughs> <laughs> so fast he running with them after that he did he do Full speed, and he ran fast. Then somebody, 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 If they got again competition, they could not compete with me. I easily will be fast. I see long is a short distance, and they don't know. He is seeing his certificate. His sports champion always very fast. No one he can beat, but no. Then they they think fast. They say other was the fast. They say fast to win. And other thing was in that in, in the interview, they told one sentence in English. They told he had repeated this. So who does the Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala tell him? That's a big language. Since their movement of limb, uh, everything do they do so? The Rabbins are beginning to laugh. Only as a very clever one. When Guru was about 16 or 17 years old, at that time there was. Bhagwat Park for one month in his village. He is cool. They are cooler guru and priest. He arranged the Bhagwat Park. They arranged, but he was the speaker. And he was very learned and very high class. Swami Ji Vishnu. For that, Guru Dev used to decorate the whole area, the stage, every day, arrange everything. For arranging mat to sit after class, he had to take it off, arrange everything. And we were told after hearing one month Shrimad Bhagavatam, very big change came in my life. From hearing Bhagavat, I understood that this material world, this material world is nothing. Only externally very glittering, but inside nothing. So I should not be in my house anymore. I have to give up my house to go for doing bhajan. So in Shrimad Bhagavatam it mentions also, "Gyane prayaso mudupasto namanta eva, jivan ti samnu paritam bhavadiyo vartam, sthaniya sthita sutvatam tonuvan manovi prayaso jito jito pistoi sivakam." Here, here to give up for acquiring knowledge. What knowledge? Not for tattva gain. You must have to endeavour for tattva gain. Who am I? Why I came in this world? Why this determination of giving me suffering? I don't know what is lead to my ultimate goal. The Shankar Goswami has asked to state the name. We have to know all these things about Krishna tattva, Shakti tattva, Jiv tattva, Maya tattva, Bhakti tattva. Sadan bhakti dhatta, obedia dhatta, prem bhakti dhatta, everything you have to know, this is dhatta gain. You have to do brain never for knowing all these things. So, but Bhagavatam telling Gyanaya Prayasa Mudu Pastor, I have to give up the tendency of carrying knowledge. What is that? That means impersonalist knowledge. And after that which is not available for bhakti, you have to give up that. Sthanes Chita, I have heard you maybe in ब्राह्मण क्षत्रिय वैश्य शुद्ध एनी कास्ट और ब्रह्मचर्य गार्हस्थ बांधप्रस्थ समाज एनी आश्रम आई वाई मे बी 
from there you have to practice bhakti yog moreover sthane sthita bhayare bhar any holy cover going on you have to go there you have to pay obeisance to audience and speaker and that place the organizer the mentor everybody has to pay obeisance then bhagwan is best to smarsi sanchame guru did everything so he get more mercy in the told from that time very big change came in my mind so from that time we have thought no now i have to give up my family life and have to do bhajan after that what would have told me if you like i shall continue for tomorrow because now 9 o'clock all of you are hungry if i continue more than you will be angry maybe not then now the class i don't want to lose my customers and from tomorrow maybe class will be in pavilion so from tomorrow 8 o'clock we shall go there and give class shall i continue this subject or yeah. not बंचा कल बत लोग बस से पकार सिंधु भरे बस